here is a rigid body which is coming down and inclined and the motion is rolling without slipping okay now we have to calculate what should be its acceleration down if there is a body which is slipping this if it is slipping down we know that this force is mg sin theta this force is friction this and the acceleration is mg sin theta minus friction divided by mass that gives the acceleration mg sin theta downward minus friction upward this is to be divided by mass that gives the acceleration when it is slipping down but here the case is different so the acceleration will also be different and that we are supposed to find out now let us see how to calculate it first <clears throat> if this is rolling that means it is rotating also and it is using certain energy in rotation as well suppose it is rotating with an angular acceleration alpha angular acceleration alpha then what is the torque acting on this body torque is equal to i into alpha there is another method of calculating the torque that is force into distance from the point of rotation here there is a force of friction acting backward at this contact point this is the contact point and this is the point where force of friction is getting applied force of friction and this is the point of rotation this point is coming here and this is the radius of rotation so how much will be the torque calculated by the formula this you see this is a circle this is radius r and we apply a force here how much is the torque r into f is the torque same this is r this is f so how much is the torque the torque is r into friction but another formula for torque is i into alpha because it is accelerating down so this is rotational motion formula but the torque is 1 so can we put equal between them okay now i into alpha is equal to r into friction alpha is equal to linear acceleration and alpha they have got a relation that is linear acceleration a is equal to r into angular acceleration alpha so alpha is equal to a upon r so this we can write as i into a upon r is equal to r into friction so how much is friction equal to friction is equal to i into linear acceleration a upon r square this we take one value of friction and keep it reserved for the further calculation now free body diagram how much is the downward force mg sin theta mg sin theta this is downward force how much is the upward force friction how much is the net force do the minus this is the net force if this is net force then it is coming down with mass m and it is coming down with an acceleration a so net force can be calculated as m into a m into a yes. okay this is our net force now we put the values here mg sin theta minus friction i into a upon r square is equal to m into a what is this acceleration with which it is coming down 
we want to find out value of this a so let's put all these quantities with a on one side so what do we get here is <clears throat> m a plus i a upon r square is equal to m g sine theta okay divide both the sides with m so what do we get here is a plus i upon m r square into a is equal to g sin theta okay take the a common transfer rest on that side and what do we get here a acceleration is taken common and here we have 1 plus i upon m r square is equal to g sin theta yes okay so a is equal to g sin theta this is to be divided by 1 plus i upon m r square this this is acceleration of this roller which is coming down and it has got a rolling motion this now is this different from g sin theta answer is yes it is different from g sin theta how much this much and in this what is this r that is radius that means according to radius this acceleration will change less is the radius this small this quantity will be very large and acceleration will be less so acceleration depends upon radius of rotation that means radius does affect acceleration now this is a very versatile formula and we can always find out the acceleration for different bodies in this students are mostly confused that moment of inertia has a formula mr square if we write here mr square cancel with mr square why we have not done so the answer is because i is equal to mr square is only for the ring not for the other shapes if it is a disc then it is half mr square if it is a sphere then it is 2 upon 5 mr square so this i has got different values while this is the fixed radius and this is full mr square now let's try in this a very famous question is find out acceleration there are three bodies which are left from here we have to find out acceleration for ring acceleration for disk acceleration for sphere let us say solid sphere all these three are left from here which will reach down first naturally which has more acceleration that will reach down first let's find it out so acceleration for ring ring this is g sin theta to be divided by 1 plus what is i for the ring that is mr square upon mr square this makes it 1 and this becomes g sin theta upon 2 this okay now acceleration for disk this is again g sin theta upon 1 plus this is i for disk is half mr square divided by mr square mr square so this is 1 plus half that is 3 by 2 and this will become 2 upon 3 g sin theta different then acceleration for sphere 
solid sphere. This is again g sin theta divided by 1 plus i is equal to 2 upon 5 mr square upon mr square. This is 7 upon 5 and this will be 5 upon 7 g sin theta. Now which is larger of the three? Okay, if you are getting confused, multiply 7 into 3, 21 into 2, uh, 7 into 3 into 2, 42. Multiply all of them with 42. So this will be 21 g sin theta, 42 and multiply with this. So that is 14, 14 to the 28. 42 divided by 7, 6, 6, 5 is 30. See, whose acceleration is most largest for the solid sphere. So the solid sphere will come down very fast this way. And which will be the slowest? ring will be slowest. What was the initial condition at rest? Ring was at rest, disc was at rest and sphere was at rest. Because of this force they have to come down. Who will resist more? Whose moment of inertia is more? That will resist more. Whose moment of inertia is maximum? For the ring it is 1 m r square. For all of them, this is half mr square, 2 fifth mr square, this is less than mr square. So if ring has got maximum moment of inertia, then it will resist maximum. It will go very slow, slow. The minimum moment of inertia that belongs to 2 upon 5, this is minimum of the 3 sphere. That means its resistance to oppose is minimum. So it does not oppose much, comes down very fast under the force and the sine theta. That's why its acceleration is maximum. So this is how you can calculate. So this is one example. There is another example that is known as yo-yo example. That is very famous example. Every student do, do that yo-yo problem. So that we will do in the next lesson. Thank you.